Start your day with remembrance of us. الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ومولانا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي اللهم افتح علينا حكمتك وانشر علينا رحمتك يا ذا الجلال والإكرام والله عز وجل open the doors of knowledge and wisdom for us have mercy on us O the one who is the most honorable the most gracious بلغ العلا بكماله كشف الدجا بجماله حسنت جميع خصاله Sallu alayhi wa alihi Alhamdulillah Once again welcome dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel You are watching the early echo And uh, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen We can never count the bounties and blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal Subhanallah Therefore we commence with his name who is our Lord, our sustainer, provider, cherisher and nourisher We send peace and blessings upon Nabi Kareem Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam upon his illustrious family and noble companions alayhi muridwan. Once again in studio, alhamdulillah, we have uh, our guest of honor, mashallah, and he is none other than our respected and honorable Mawlana Abdul Qadir Dhamma Barakatuhu Al-Aliya. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mashallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Masa. Once again, it's only a pleasure uh, to host Masa, MashaAllah, on the early echo. And uh, I am hopeful, Masa, that today as well, we will have a beautiful program, enlightening, rejuvenating, electrifying program, inshallah. Stay tuned with us till the end of today's program. And the discussion, MashaAllah, Alhamdulillah, uh, is going to be uh, spiritually boosting, inshallah. Something to do with your Iman. It will take you closer to Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So stay tuned with us till the end of today's program. We have a beautiful and amazing kalam uh, for the viewers out there, inshallah. Listen and watch this kalam. And when we do return, inshallah, Zawajallah, we shall continue with our discussion. How the Beaver Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa is described as the light in the Holy Quran is our discussion. Stay with us. May Allah bless you. Sallu ala al-Habib. صلى الله على محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم روك لیتی ہے آپ کی نسبت تیر جتنے بھی ہم پہ چلتے ہیں یہ کرم ہے حضور Oh, 
जिसने नम रखा नबी के पीष्ट से आँखों को जिसने नम छुपा के दामन रहमत में अपने खालिद को छुपा के दामन रहमत में अपने खा سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ it is indeed the کرم of مصطفیٰ جان رحمت صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم مصطفیٰ جان رحمت پہ لاکھو سلام شمع بزم ہدایت پہ لاکھو سلام سیدی آلہ حضرت عظیم البرکت پروان عیشم ارسالت امام احمد رضا خان رحمت اللہ تعالی علیہ حسنیت in his beautiful poetry کیا خبر کتنے تاریخ ہی لے چھپ گئے پر نہ ڈوبے نہ ڈوبا ہمارا نبی Dear viewers and listeners of Madani channel Subhanallah This is the status of our beloved Nabi Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallama Yani if all created beings From the higher stations to the lower worlds Collectively employed their faculties And expanded their resources They would fail to grasp the Muhammadian reality Allahu Akbar and they will fail to describe the true status of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because his Lord yani Allah has elevated him to heights that mortals cannot perceive. It is beyond human intelligence, it is beyond human intellect to perceive the, ma the maqam and the station, the lofty station which Allah had bestowed upon Mustafa. Jaane Rahmat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam In the glorious Qur'an-i Paak which we recite daily Allah Azza wa Jalla had stated وَرَفَعْنَا لَكَ ذِكْرَكَ Subhanallah Look at these translations dear viewers of Madini channel And we have elevated your remembrance for your sake Yani with each coming moment The beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ascends to a greater rank ہر لمحہ آپ کا درجہ بلند ہوتا ہی جا رہا ہے it is increasing in rank a higher state of being a greater proximity to Allah عز و جل therefore he عز و جل in the Holy Quran Paak once again had described this by mentioning وَلَلْآخِرَةُ خَيْرٌ لَكَ مِنَ الْأُولَى and indeed the latter is better for you than the former Allah 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 so dear viewers of Madani channel, this is the maqam which is beyond human intellect. We can never understand the true excellence of the Holy Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa But since our discussion for this morning is with regards to him being described as the sun, as the light. So Allah Azza wa Jalla, as the entire Quran is, is 
in the praises of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Subhanallah. Chahe jo bhi paara aap utha ke dekh le. The entire Quran Pak is actually the praises of the most beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Only uh, the Quran should be recited and, and 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 glanced at with the lens of iman. Ji ha. When you recite the Quran Pak with the lens of iman. Surely you will find every couplet to be in the every every ayah and verse to be in the love of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam the praises of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam and of course it is it is the miracle of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam that the Quran Pak was revealed upon him subhanallah in the very same Quran Pak Allah azza wa jalla states bismillahir rahmanir rahim يا أيها النبي إن أرسلناك شاهدا ومبشرا ونذيرا وداعيا إلى الله بإذنه وسراجا منيرا سبحان الله سبحان الله دي أفيوز What a beautiful verse Allah Azza wa has revealed once again highlighting the the dignity and the status of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam look listen to the translation o conveyor of the unseen news nabi means the one who gives you the news of the unseen so o conveyor of the unseen news yani the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have indeed sent you as a present eye witness Allah Akbar. A present eyewitness and a conveyor of glad tidings and warnings, and as a caller towards Allah Azza wa Jalla by His command, and as an illuminating sun. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So, dear viewers of Madhuri Channel, true knowledge. This is the truth. The true knowledge of the illustrious rank of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's loftiest station is. Known only by our benevolent Allah Azza wa Jalla, and no one else besides Allah knows the true maqam of Mustafa Sallallahu Taala Alaihi Wasallam. It is beyond human imagination. Ab soch nahi sakte. We can never. If people say, "Why do you praise him so much?" We can never put a limit to that so much because we don't know how much is so much. Because no matter how much you love him. It is less to your viewers of Madhuri Channel. One should exceed all limits and love him, and that love should should uh, you know command a person to follow the Sunnah, the teachings of the beloved Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So the true knowledge of uh, his illustrious rank and lofty station of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is known only by Allah azza wa jalla and no one else. The generous Rasul sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam himself have said in a hadith. Abu Bakr, رضي الله عنه, I swear that by the being who ordained me with the truth, nobody knows my reality besides my Lord. Allah, Allah, Allah. Besides Allah Azza wa Jalla, no one knows my reality. Those who dwell upon the earth, those who are living on this planet, how could we understand the maqam of Mustafa صلى الله عليه وسلم when him being this royal king allahu akbar above the heavens his banners are in motion and shining with eminence dear viewers as ala hadrat rahmatullahi taala had described this when he says in his beautiful outstanding phenomenal poetry he says farish wale teri sho kat ka ulu kya jaane فرش والے تیری شوکت کا علو کیا جانے خسرا وا عرش پہ اڑتا ہے پھریرا تیرا خسرا وا عرش پہ اڑتا ہے پھریرا تیرا اللہ اللہ 
Masa, mashallah. See how Allah Hadrat Rahmatullah Ta'ala describes um, uh, the Holy Rasul Sallallahu Ta'ala Ali Salaam's lofty station in this way by saying, Oh, the inhabitants of this earth. فرش والی تیری شوقت کا علو کیا جانے اللہ اکبر how can the inhabitants of this earth understand the true مقام of مصطفیٰ صلی اللہ تعالی علیہ وسلم خسروہ عرش پہ اڑتا ہے پھرے را تیرا when oh royal king above the heavens do your banners shine with eminence اللہ اکبر اللہ اکبر سبحان اللہ it's just amazing مان صاحب الحمدللہ this آیا itself مان صاحب is clear evidence you know uh, can مان صاحب maybe perhaps inshallah Allah explain this verse further in detail, Mu'asab, which qualities of the beloved Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi has been stated and mentioned in this, in, in this particular verse, Mu'asab. Subhanallah. Actually, Mu'asab, in this beautiful ayah of the Holy Quran, Subhanallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned distinctively <coughs> five qualities of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. And... Um, Starting with Shahid, Ji. You know, the first quality being mentioned of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Shahidam, meaning one who is present and observing, and it, it also means uh, one who is witnessing, okay. as a witness, and uh, as a core belief and doctrine of Al Sunnah wal Jamaa, the master of all prophets. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is present meaning hadin and, and observing meaning nazir. Take the little meaning of being present is to be located in the immediate vicinity and it is mentioned that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam hears and sees all subhanallah and um, say, such as Sayyidi Allah Hazrat Allah Ta'ala which reminds me of his beautiful shayr Duro Nazdiki Sunne Wale Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Masab, this is, this is so beautiful, Mashallah. So basically the definition uh, that's taken here is being an eyewitness, Ji, as Masab has stated, Mashallah, Subhanallah, excellent Masab, Ji. And in the tafsir it is also mentioned the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that uh, Allah Almighty has placed the entire world in front of me, hmm. resultantly the entire world and whatsoever to occur within it until the day of judgment. I am observing it in the same manner in which I observe the palm of this hand. Mm. Subhanallah. Mm. To this, this extent, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is, is aware and is, uh, is observing and witnessing everything, the, the world events. Allah. Subhanallah. Masab, like how he, he is watching his blessed palm as Masab has stated. Subhanallah. This is just amazing, dear viewers of Madani Channel. Look at the abilities that Allah had bestowed upon his beloved Habib. It is just beyond human uh, intellect. It's difficult for us to understand when Allah had said that he has forbidden the earth from eating and consuming the, the blessed bodies of the Anbiya alayhimu salatu wa salam fa nabiyyullahi hayyun yurzaq so they are alive and Allah is providing rosy and sustenance for them therefore in the books of ahadith you would learn that the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa salam had stated that uh, on the night of Mi'raj on the night of ascension I had seen Nabi Musa alayhi salatu wa salam perform salah in his qabr and furthermore, when the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam had reached Aqsa and the Anbiya alayhi wa salatu wa were present for him waiting his imamat, waiting to be the muqtadis and perform their salah behind the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'm, what I'm trying to say to you viewers of Madani channel is that this is the abilities which Allah had bestowed upon Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Him being eyewitness, him being away of every situation when this ability and this quality had been granted to the servants and servants and servants of Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allahu Akbar. Even in his blessed progeny, there are such awliya and such salihin whom Allah had bestowed this particular quality. Ki wo dunya ko yu dekhte hain. Jaysay ki ghosi azam rahmatullahi ta'ala li apne qasideh mein irshad farmate hain. Nadar tu ila biladillahi jama'an. 
Allahu Akbar. And this is the same ghoth that had linked us with the Master Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This ability and quality has been granted to even the, uh, the, the friends of Allah Azza wa Jalla. When this is granted to the servants and when this is granted to uh, the blessed family of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, then what do you think would be the ability and power of the Master of this mankind, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What should be the abilities and power of the beloved Nabi himself sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? It is beyond human intellect. Jim Mu'asab, you explained Shahid, uh, mashallah. Now, uh, so Mu'asab mentioned five qualities yeah, yeah. in this verse. Can we go through them again, Mu'asab, and Inshallah. maybe explain each one before we come to the end of the time? As we go along in our program, Jim Mu'asab, explain furthermore with regards to uh, him being a Shahid. Inshallah, Zur. After Shahid, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Mubashir, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa being Mubashir. And uh, what is the meaning of Mubashir is for the viewers, is that Mubashir is the person who gives glad tidings. And the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa subhanallah gave glad tidings to 10 beloved you know, Sahaba of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the Ashara Mubashara, who were given the glad tidings of Jannah within their lifetime, as well as the Shaykhain, meaning Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he made them the leader of people in Jannah. And Hassanain Kariman radiallahu ta'ala anhuma, he made them the leader of the youth in Jannah. And his beloved daughter, Sayyida Fatima Zahra radiallahu ta'ala anha, he made her the, the leader of uh, women folk in Jannah, subhanallah. Hmm. Subhanallah. So this, this, this means and proves that Allah Jalla has, has made him uh, authoritative Masab. He has yeah. been given the keys to the treasures of Allah Jalla in this world as well as in the hereafter. Allah Jalla has made his beloved Habib Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in charge of this. Alhamdulillah. As Masab in the books of Ahadith, how uh, uh, Rabi'a bin Ka'ab Aslami radiyallahu uh, ta'ala anhu. Allahu Akbar, when the beloved Nabi Sallallahu had, uh, had said with full authority, ask for whatever you desire, ask for whatever, Allahu Akbar, this Khadim uh, and servant of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that I desire your companionship in paradise, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam then said to this, uh, to this companion, to this Khadim, that uh, that you have been granted besides that, oh, Ghayra uh, Zalik, is there anything else besides this that you would desire? Allahu Akbar. In other words, the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sees the actions and the deeds of his servants, of his ummatis. Nothing is hidden from the blessed sight of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allah Azza has granted him the knowledge of everything, dear viewers. So, Subhanallah. Understand this by what Masab had just mentioned, Masab. This is just amazing, Subhanallah. Uh, proceed on that, Masab, as you mentioned, uh, and then thereafter. Subhanallah. As he has, uh, Alhamdulillah, has been uh, appointed by Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala as someone who gives glad tidings, but he also came to warn us about the Jahannam, about the punishment hmm. of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and what would lead us to that punishment of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. So he came to warn us to safeguard us against those punishments. And subhanallah, what a beautiful title of the beloved Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is Nadira. Subhanallah, as Nadir who warns people about the punishment of the hereafter. And Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself, he has said in the Mubarak Hadith that my example and your example is like that of an individual who lit a fire and grasshoppers and moths began to fall into it. While he pushes them away from it, similarly, I am holding you from the back and preventing him from falling into the fire. Allah. <laughs> subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. And then Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa another quality of his mu'asab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described in this beautiful ayah, is he is a caller to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the greatest da'i, da'iyan ila Allah subhanallah. <laughs> As the children of Madina Munawwara, they sang, you know, Marhaban ya khaira da'i, subhanallah, the best of da'i, the best of caller towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And um, alhamdulillah, Allah azza wa jal has best, uh, bestowed us upon us. He is a beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to call us and take us closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, subhanallah. 
da'i ila Allah towards Allah azza wa jalla masab this is just so amazing alhamdulillah and uh, the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam throughout his blessed life uh, had preached the very same thing masab teaching us how to call people towards Allah azza wa jalla uh, every action of a believer is monitored it is seen and you are a walking talking da'i ila Allah jiha you are a uh, you know walking talking muballigh masab everyone is a preacher and this is what makes you outstanding this is what gives you that rank as being the ummatis of Mustafa sallallahu alayhi wa sallama kuntum khayra ummatin ukhjatin nas ta'maruna bil ma'roof wa tanahawna anil munkar that you are the best of nations that ever emerged from this earth why? because we call people because why? you instruct or command that what is good and forbid that which is evil we have this quality and this is the summary of the ayah which I have presented to you not the translation, only dear viewers. Masa, we discussed uh, the beloved Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa being shahid, being a witness uh, to us as the ummatis and knows our condition. Submit to Allah azza wa jalla. Submit to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa He is aware of your condition. You are the ummati and he is the owner of your being, dear viewers of Madani channel. He has control over you. He will command and we as Ummatis will have to abide by the commandments of Allah Azza wa Jal and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Alhamdulillah, because of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this maqam has been granted to even uh, uh, the, the followers, Maa Sahib. Allah How can Maa Sahib, uh, Inshallah Azza wa Jal, uh, merge and give us some of the Nipahs? Subhanallah. You know. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised him in the most beautiful uh, manner, subhanallah, in, in the verse that Mu'asab has recited for us, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned five distinctive qualities of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa starting from shahid, then mubashir, then nazir, then da'yan ila Allah bi'idhni, and after that, last but not the least, and which is our topic for today, alhamdulillah, is he is the son of guidance Sirajam Munira, subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the beloved Nabi sallallahu to be the Sirajam Munira, meaning an illuminating lamp and the sun, subhanallah. He is the one who ends the darkness of disbelief and polytheism. And he, sallallahu alayhi wa is the prophetic lamp from whom Sayyidina Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu ta'ala anhu attained the light of truthfulness. Sayyidina Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhu received the radiance of justice and Sayyidina Usman radiallahu ta'ala who gained the luminosity of modesty and generosity and Sayyidina Ali radiallahu ta'ala who acquired the light of knowledge and worship. Subhanallah. MashaAllah, just, just amazing Mu'asab. Subhanallah. Him being Siraj Munira, the bright sun that removed the darkness of this entire world. Allahu Akbar. Through his brightness, what light had been brought to your viewers of Madani channel? The people that were stuck in the darkness of infidelity, darkness of kufr, in the darkness of sinning, Allahu Akbar, and violating the rights of Allah Azza wa Jalla, Rasulullah Sallallahu came as a rescue. So this bright sun had removed people from darkness and brought people to light, dear viewers. That light leads a person to Jannah. As Mu'asab had mentioned, the light of Siddiqui Akbar, the light of Umar Farooq, Uthmani Ghani, Mawla Ali radiallahu an. This light that was instilled in their hearts and they have lit the lamps of millions of other hearts, dear viewers. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. May we attain uh, closeness so that we can also get lit up, dear viewers, and this dark heart of ours can also be brightened through the Amen. nur of Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allah Hadrat says, Subh teba me hui, batahe bada nur ka, sadqa lene nur ka, aya hai. Tara Nurka, Jogada de Kolie, Jata Hetora Nurka, Jogada de Kolie, Jata Hetora Nurka, Nurki Sarkarhe, Kya Isme Tora Nurka. Mosa, we have like just few seconds before we come to the end of the program, and um, it is my honest appeal to you, inshallah. If there's anything else that you would like to say, Mosa, please do. Inshallah, I would like to conclude with this beautiful share of Sayyidi Allah Hazrat Radiallahu Ta'ala who from his world famous salam where he rahmatullahi ta'ala has praised the beloved nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam by using the similes of the same um, title that has been mentioned in the holy quran meaning siraj munira and he beautifully says muhri charkh nubuwwat bi roshan durud 
گل باغ رسالت کے لاکھ و سلام لیومنس سیلوٹیشنز بی اپون دا سن آف دا ہورائزن آف پرافٹ ہڈ اینڈ ملینز آف پیس بی اپون دا فلاور آف دا گارڈن آف میسنجر شپ سبحان اللہ سبحان اللہ کیا بات ہے مدینے کی مے اللہ ایکسپٹ مے اللہ فگیو اس فار دا سیک اف رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سو دی ا ویوز اف مدینے چینل ٹمارو از انادر ڈے سو ریسائٹ لاٹس اف درود اینڈ صلات علی النبی صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم اینڈ وی شال بی بیک انشاءاللہ ود انادر پروگرام ونس اگین انٹل دین اسٹے گڈ بی گڈ ڈو گڈ اینڈ وی لیو یو ریمائنڈنگ یو دا مشن اینڈ دا مقصد ان دس فریگرنٹ موومنٹ اف قران اینڈ سنہ I must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world. Insha'Allah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-Habib sallallahu ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah.